hi again okay so I yeah I'm making all kinds of videos today um, all right so I just want to tell you guys real quick a couple of books that I'm trying to read um, because I can't get it all done in 10 minutes but anyway so um, one book that most everybody I'm sure has heard of that is like the Bible of TTC is taking charge I cannot get this centered Oh, here we go. Taking Charge of Your Fertility by Tony Westler. Anyway, so, um, great book. It teaches you all about, like, understanding your body, understanding, um, different fertility signs, like, um, taking your, um, temperature every morning, um, also, um, your cervical positioning and everything like that um, and um, yeah so very informative because I, I didn't know any of this before I had gotten this book um, I ordered it off of Amazon not that expensive I don't remember how much I paid for it but it's a great 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 book it even has a section that's supposed to help you like um, have um, sex to maximize your chances of having a boy or girl and I mean, it's a it's a theory. It's not obviously it's not a hundred percent, but it it does kind of make sense what they say, like how the male the the um, sperm that carries the Y chromosome is a lot smaller and swims faster, and then the the sperm that carries the X chromosome, she's like it's hardy and has more endurance and stuff. So I guess if you have um, sex right around the time that you're ovulating, like um, or maybe while you're ovulating, I can't remember. I guess the male sperm, since it swims faster, it should get there and increase your chances of having a boy, versus if you have sex a couple days before you ovulate, it'll you have a higher chance of it being a girl because all the Y chromosome sperm will probably be tired or something. I don't know. I probably didn't really explain it that well, but it's interesting. But um, other, other than that, the I like the rest of the book about um, learning how to chart your cycles which I've started doing, but then I stopped because I realized that you have to wait. Cycle day one starts on your first menstrual cycle, and so I haven't gotten mine back yet since having the IUD removed. So that is a book I highly suggest. Another book that I had actually gotten a few years ago, and um, this guy I worked with who's actually a teacher recommended that people read it if you're trying to conceive before you have kids, you could probably read it whenever though. And it is by Joseph Chilton Pierce. It is called The Magical Child. Right? Yeah, you know that this is not working out so well for me. Um and it's it's definitely it's a really interesting book. It's not a book that you're gonna read fast just because of the language. It's kind of like I like to take my time reading it and go back and try to reabsorb what I read. Um, basically he is a, I believe he's a doctor. I don't know, I think he's a doctor. I think he's a doctor. Anyway, um, he goes on and talks about, like, the different, uh, birthing techniques and, and stuff that are used around the world and parenting techniques and, um, how sometimes the modern, like, western, um, forms of, I guess, um, the hospital births can kind of can be damaging to the child. Now, it's not saying that you should not have a hospital birth and that you're a terrible parent if you do because the author himself had all his kids in a hospital. He just looks at different ways of doing it. Like in, in some African communities, it was really fascinating that I guess like the babies are actually, um, mothers understand their baby cycle. They're like, not cycle, it's the wrong word. Um, they are in tune with their children, um, like their bowel movements, they know when they have to use the bathroom and they actually like hold them over a bush and stuff and just kind of, I think it's really interesting to see how different cultures learn how to um, understand their children and how other cultures deal with pregnancy and birthing techniques and it's very fascinating. So it's not something you're going to read fast, I don't think, maybe you will, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend 
The Magical Child. He has other books out there too. I haven't read them, but it basically says this is a brilliant, provocative, humane synthesis we've been waiting for. I hope Magical Child is read by every parent and parent to be, every educator, everyone interested in the future of our society. Um, so, yeah, he does kind of um, criticize some things about the Western um, society and how we might be damaging our children. But, um, you know, oh, he's a psychologist. I believe. So, um, it also says he shows that we can restore the astonishing wealth of creative intelligence, and that is the birthright of every human being. Um, and he also discusses like child rearing and stuff. So, if you might be interested in something like that, I don't know. I, I at least check it out at the library and like flip through it. If I find some sections I really enjoy reading, other sections I'm like, eh. So that I thought I would throw that out there. Um, I don't really have a lot of time to read just because I'm taking six classes right now. I'm graduating next semester for finally. That's what happens when you like change your degree three times and transfer colleges. But um, yeah, and then I was actually yeah, going to show you guys my baby substitute. Who's well? She's been my baby substitute for. She's going to be. She's going to be five in June. So let me show you Cinderella. Cinderella. Where's the puppy? Come here. Come. Oh. Yeah, she's taking her sweet time. Come here. Come here. What's this? Stretching. Come. 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 Okay. So, whoop. <laughs> this is Cinderella. Uh, she doesn't show up very well because she's black. She's a Pomeranian. I don't know if you can see her. Say hello. Say hi. <laughs> so this is my little dog Cinderella. She's been a wonderful baby substitute. She's gonna be a good big sister too when we do have a child. She does really well with kids and stuff, don't you? You just want to sleep all day. So say hi, YouTube. Oop. <laughs> hello. <laughs> all right. So. Yeah, you might see her. Yeah, you cannot see her at all, can you? Um, yeah, you might start seeing her in some of my videos. I'll probably... Wow, what? I might stick some footage of her up. But, yeah, this is my baby substitute. I'm sure she'll be excited to be, um, to have an actual baby around. I know she will, actually. <laughs> yes, you will. So, alright, bye!